I think Bostic realizes Wardlow's a better ally than a rival. Bostic's trying to mend fences. If, I, if I'm Andrew Palace, I'm taking note of this, and I would look to keep those two as in it as. I would antagonize them one against the other. Palace a fighting champion. Is this more guts than brains? As Palace immediately playing mind games with Bostic. Where's that Betty Hill theme again? Because we had a chase sequence. <laughs> he took off. And Palace outsmarts Bostic, not always hard to do. Here comes Wardlow into Bostic, look out. Well, Palace created a disadvantageous circumstance, but he already worked his way around it. And uh, I gotta say, Wardlow didn't look that uh, that concerned about the fact that he ended up hitting Dylan Bostic. I don't think Wardlow's had concern for any other man, woman, child, animal, vegetable, or mineral since he lost that championship. He's had tunnel vision on the IWC gold. And Wardlow didn't even give a damn if the reset button chose him or not. Wardlow is contractually uh, gifted a rematch. And Dallas, oh, Bostic, and Wardlow were all okay with that. I guess Bostic wanted to use Wardlow as an ally. Dallas wants to fight the world. Interesting contrast of uh, ouch. strategies here as all three come with a different mindset, but all three seem to think that a triple threat match might favor them better. I mean, I don't know that Wardlow cared if it was triple threat. I don't know that I would have, I would have Hurry your driver! And it's over! Palace has just won if Bostic was saved. I was going to say, I don't know that, uh, that Wardlow cared. I don't know that I would have made that same choice. I probably would have looked to have kept it one-on-one, -on -one just because statistically you have a better shot. Let's point out that this is one fall, to the best of my knowledge. Contrary to the prior matchup, it was elimination. Oh, Cody driver to Bostic. No. Bill encounters. Oh, oh. that's a German suplex. Yeah. And I'll say this about Bostic. I don't think I've ever seen Bostic in better shape than he is now. I was going to say the uh, cover here, two count over. The, the way he snapped that suplex, the speed with which he hit that, uh, that knee. It's 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 sort of like the, he refined everything he does into a much a much more uh, cohesive package. And now team uh, team Labar is looking to be on the same page again. Well, they both have a common enemy. They both have a common goal. But my question and Labar looking out approvingly from the outside. Labar really can't lose in this scenario because either way he'll represent the champion if somebody up upends Palace. Yeah, but there can be only one winner, Joe. And in the back of their minds, both Wardlow and Dylan Bostick know that. Well, the question is... The question is who turns on whom exactly at what point? And will the other be ready for it? Being ready for it's one thing, surviving it, that's another. Am I too much for you? Am I too much? Come on, come on. Uh, Dylan, it's not just you in the match, pal. Yeah, but don't tell Dylan that. Yeah, really. All the spotlight on him. If Bostic, if Bostic could somehow wrestle a match by himself and get away with it, I'm sure he'd pick that every time. Well, I didn't tell you it was his favorite match. Our rights by Wardlow. That is two favorite wrestlers in it. There you go. <laughs> and now Wardlow just stalking. As Palace tries to get up, he just stomps him back down. 
Doesn't let the spasmanium devil get up. It's a smart move. Dylan Bostic just yelling from the corner. Well, and Palace decides to get involved. But Palace, mark of a champion no matter what, trying to get to his feet and continue the battle. Well, he knows what's on the line. He can't just give this up. I, based upon his mindset, I don't know that he ever would, but... I look at Palace. A lot of fight left in him as Bostic kills him with a backbreaker. Palace in trouble, and there you see. Yeah, Bostic, I think, as soon as he saw his light flashing before him, he backed off quick. And Palace two on one. Wardlaw oftentimes is, is the strength of two men by himself. God, Bostic also in the most obnoxious mood he's ever been in. Bostic the only man in his match that's never been IWC champion. Palace knows both rivals all too well. And Wardlow getting behind the palace. Well, they can divide and conquer textbook drop kick. Bostic got to let himself not get too big for his britches here. Oh, don't worry. Wardlow will remind him as soon as that britches size becomes too constricted. Yeah, we've come close a couple times. The ego of Bostic and the temper of Wardlow are not a good combination. Wardlow does not like being touched. No. Don't touch Wardlow. Don't touch Wardlow. That's a good rule no matter who you are or what you're doing in life. Just stay away. It's Palace. He's not subscribing to that rule. All guns blazing, but Wardlow catches Palace. Could be Wardlow, Bob? Oh, God, Palace. God, Lord. Drill. Absolutely true. Uh, you know, someone doesn't follow directions, though. Bostic is standing between Wardlow and his conquest, and that may not be a good idea. Goodbye, Mr. Bostic. And you can see the frustration on uh, Labar's face. As he said, I told him. Nearly peeled Bostic out of the ring. Back body drop. Follow a slam. And Bostic now thrown out of the ring and then crawled halfway around it. Crawling for sanctuary. He may crawl all the way to the locker room. It's Wardlow and Palace center ring. Wardlow dragging Palace around by the hair. Wardlow can become a two-time IWC champion now. German release suplex. And Palace is in Wardlow's eyes. Palace took everything. Took Wardlow's identity, his paycheck, everything he worked for. And Wardlow has been an absolute machine, an absolutely just unreachable from a psychological standpoint ever since. I think even Labar is scared to be around Wardlow sometimes. I mean, wouldn't you? Absolutely. Wardlow doesn't like me. He likes Lamar. I don't care if I'm on the Lions' good side. It doesn't mean I'm going to get into the den. Look how effortless Wardlow's making these suplexes look. Wardlow about 275. Tossing Palace around like he's a... Like he's a... Well, he's a bag of potatoes. Two count only. And Palace has landed high on that net several times in this matchup so far. And with Wardlow, usually you only need one to do significant damage. Oh, God! A 
snap on that belly to belly. Here's Bostic. And Bostic wondering, should, oh God. That's a preemptive strike for more though, that's how. Bostic thought, thought about trying to get into the ring to break that up. Bostic was ready to sacrifice the chance to hold the IWC title just so he didn't have to mess with Wardlow. But that said a lot about Wardlow. I think, I think Wardlow shot him a glance when, during the pen. Wardlow knew what was going on. Oh! Palace sets Wardlow sternum first. Jawbreaker. It's a Gurry Connect. And again. Four kicks to the head. Five. And Wardlow's on his feet. And then a flying, I couldn't tell if that was a kick or a knee from our perspective. Well, and a suicide dive. Bostic is practically motionless as Palace. Now ready to take a chance. Paulus stutter step but adjusted and still made contact with Wardlow but came down hard in the knee. And Boston senses his opportunity. That's a disadvantage. Sweat, oil, all sorts of uh, substances on that rope. And Dylan Bostic was able to adjust. No, no, no. Now form an alliance with Palace? Well, really, it, if I have to take out Wardlow, I'm asking for as much help as I can get. Yeah, but if you're Palace, could you trust Bostic as far as, well, I could throw him? No! But Palace knows that. Means to an end, Joe. Means to an end. I think Palace is with you there. Never thought I'd see it, but not enough! Wardlow the spear! Now Wardlow just pulling Palace up. Two men was not enough. Chop block. Two men was not enough to get Wardlow down. To keep Wardlow down, but Bostic takes out the monster at the knee, at the base. Palace still doesn't trust Bostic, but Bostic will make strange bedfellows to protect himself. Double suplex isn't enough. Wardlow countering. Oh, 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 oh. oh, good God. And all that time in the gym pays off. Wardlow is an absolute machine. And Bostic up to his feet. Palace up to his feet. And Wardlow now just dividing and conquering. Ooh. Palace is waiting. What is this? Power driver? It took deconstructing half the ring to stop Wardlow last time. Oh! That modified Alabama slam. Palace is hurt. Oh, Bostic downstairs! Oh, here we go! Wardlow is going to drive Palace head first. That's three. And Bostic, oh, half a count away from stealing the title. And Bostic is incredulous. Oh, Bostic. Regis never just got kicked in the gut. Didn't see Palace there, pile driver. Dumped on his head. Can Palace do it? No! What is going to stop these men? Oh. oh. Well, it might be a running kick in the case of Palace. Well, a bar with a chair.
Wardlow doesn't want to use the chair, risk disqualification. Now Wardlow going to use it. Oh, Palace defensive maneuver. The shotgun drop kick. Labar's plan blew up in his face, literally. Bostic up. Oh, Bostic gets Labar. Oh, Bostic in disbelief. Could this be? There it is. Ernie a driver. The best laid plans. Palace retains the title.